All right, we are back for another week. So last week, uh, we missed a week. That was totally my, totally my fault. I went That's to Australia. Okay. I went to Australia, people. That's a great excuse, by That is. Way. That's a great excuse. You know? like, and we, we did have the interview with Audrey to tie people yeah, over. Yeah, so, you yeah. know. Yeah, but, but, you know, we'll still put that out there. It just well, won't make sense anymore. Because like, yeah. why are they, they're still talking about Jason. Is Jason getting evicted again? Did he get back in the house? <laughs> He's back again yeah. with his spirit of Jason. Yeah. But you had a great excuse. You were in Australia. I did. People that, that don't did. know. And to my understanding, I did not miss uh, any BB takeover. <laughs> no, that's right. Because I'm pretty sure that's as, as distinct as... <laughs> yeah. I don't think that exists anymore. I think it's gone. Takeover. I think it's yeah, it's two over. weeks. We had Gronk and Kathy Griffin, and then it's <laughs> done. It's out. They Gronk ended like, it. Yes, yeah. you didn't miss that, but you did miss Chloe getting split up. Oof, this yeah. was like, and I actually read this on Twitter, and I knew that it was Twitter caught fire. This yeah. was like a big deal. This is probably up to this point, actually, the biggest deal yeah. thus far in Big Brother uh, 17. Well, Nick, I mean, if they can't make it. What hope is there for any of us? There isn't, actually. There's no There's hope. There's no more hope. Yes, Clay. Humanity is. He gone. The sixth evicted house guest. Uh, he was sent packing one week before jury. Man, tough, dude. Yeah. Because then at least he could have been in jury with Shelly. I know? know, I know, yeah. But he asked to be evicted. He asked he to go. He fell on his sword. He was did. chivalrous. And he finally yeah. got that kiss from Shelly yeah, after six weeks of courting. And we're going to get into this, but I just need to interject so I don't forget yeah. about it right now. Is that this is actually... And if you watch a lot of Big Brother, you see this is actually kind of common. And you would be asking yourself, well, why? Why would you give up your own game for someone else? Yeah. And at some point, now I'm not Clay and I don't know, but I would, if I would have to ask, I would guess, right? That at some point you've been in that house for so long, you just like literally, and deep down inside, you want out. It's stressful. <laughs> it's hard. You don't want to be there anymore. And what a better way than to be like, you know what, Kev? I'm doing this one for you. Like, you would sacrifice your game for me, Nick. Well, depends, let's, let's not go hey, that on, far. Depends on what week it is. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It didn't really seem like that, though. It seemed like Clay um, I think it was real. wanted to stay. It seemed like yeah. that he was so caught up. And, I mean, you know, yeah. you've talked about it as well, about how how time is a multiplier, essentially. Because oh, yeah, you got absolutely. so much time to hang out with somebody that, yep. like, that's why things, I think, feel so yeah. intense. Because One day is one week. Yeah, exactly. One Easily. day is one week. So he feels like he spent three years with Shelly. It's and... literally when your eyes open to when your eyes close, right? Think about it like this, right? Nine to five, you know, from, let's say you get home at six, right? And then you're going to bed around, like, 11 or 12. So, like, six hours of the day. Yep. In there, you have three times that amount. Like, you literally have all day long. And you're just spending the time, and no TV distract you, no cell phone. You're just paying attention yeah. all the time. Yeah, really get to know somebody. Yeah, so he fell on the sword right there, and he yeah. was he was gone, evicted. Julie, with her extra large glasses, <laughs> uh, sat down, talked to Clay, and he said, "This may be the real deal." So we'll see what yeah. happens outside the house. It'll be but, interesting. Their first date. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Their first date out. So Clay, the sixth house guest evicted, he's done. He's gone. It was on to a new HOH competition. Yes. Midway Mayhem, the old sliding up the slick area. You did that, didn't this you? This was on your actually season? the last comp I did before I was out. And it was uh, the barbecue sauce. <laughs> and I love this one. It was so good. The way that you actually make this one work is, is you like paddle your feet like you're skiing, like cross-country skiing. Yeah. Like that's how you do it. And uh, yeah, it was it was a great comp. That is, it's truly extremely slippery. It extremely. looks, and there were there were plenty of people. I'm surprised that the uh, you know the Big Brother medics weren't coming in with the I'm, amount of yeah. bad falls that happened. The people that are gone. Yeah, I was just picturing people are going to be in like collars and yeah. arm braces and everything afterwards. But Becky she ran that game. Cleaned huh? house. She got all three. She got the five thousand dollars, the never not, and of course the hoh. She yeah. cleaned house on that competition. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was surprised at the way she was running that. And and what's what's interesting is what happened right after this. Okay. okay? So Clay and James get into uh, yes. the strangest fight that was of the season. Now, if you remember one season before mine, um, there was an actual fist fight. Do you remember this? Yes, like it happened really early on. It was the guy that his brother was on Survivor. Yeah, right? and yeah. he already had anger was. issues. And then <laughs> yeah. it was the the chef Joe, right? Mm. And so they got into this little scuffle, and it was like a real punch. Like a real punch was thrown. This was like. Hey, man, I know you're not talking about me. Yeah. I'm not talking about yeah. you. I'm going to put my finger so close to your face, but not touch your face. You, it's so close. If you lean in a little bit, it's going to touch and your face. And when it does, then you're going to be happy. Then I'll self-evict yeah. myself. Yeah. Now. But it was so it bizarre because it was like, it was like, you know, Johnny Mac going to Clay saying that Vanessa was in Shelly's right. head and then... Clay going to Vanessa yeah. and saying that James did it for some reason because I think he was mad at James for nominating him. 
and then Vanessa going back, and it was just sort of like, but you yeah. said, but I said, but you said. It was like third grade politics, like gone awry, right? Yeah. So it was like Jerry Springer meets like a really like bad like fight sort of like yeah. uh, clip that you'd see on Twitter. You no know, shoes where... being thrown at each other like Springer though. <laughs> yeah. And Steve, the bald headed Steve, wouldn't he be great if he was there? Just in yeah, case yeah as he is like break it up. He's like holding somebody back, yeah, like, exactly. Nah. And Shelly's yeah. like, I'm gonna get you. Like, yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty intense. But yeah, what made it weird is is that as a viewer, as someone who like loves your brother, who like totally gets into it, even I was like. What? I know. Wait, wait a minute. You need, like, I felt wait, like what? it was True Detective, where I needed to go in, like, my, my shed and put up on the board, like, people's faces and connect strings to right, them. exactly. And, it, it's it was, like, and it was so confusing. And then finally, Johnny Mac said he fessed yes! up. He, oh, my God. He, he, like, he fessed up and said, all this came from me, and Vanessa didn't believe him. She right. said, no, it came from Clay. Flat out, she was like, no, 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 you're not capable of thinking <laughs> yeah. that about on your own. And I, that was... He went with it. And he was like, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that... Yeah, I'll just keep looking. I'll just keep yeah, and making then, my way back. Sure enough, Vanessa started crying, which is the signal of closure to any fight oh, here yes. this season. And it's also the signal of Vanessa making the next big move, right? And yeah. so now people are kind of catching on to that. But Nick, wh- like, when did this start on the show where it's like, anytime conflict happens, house meeting, let's get everybody okay. in the same room, that, let's all talk about it, let's all discuss it, let's all yes. get on the same page. When did that start? I feel like that's that's ramped up these past it, couple it, years, huh? Honestly, I think started on season 15, my season. Because prior to that, there would be, you know, issues and problems out in the field, and then they would sort of be dealt with behind closed doors, and that's where scheming would happen, and then this happened, and then someone would cry, but no one knew they cried, and, yeah. then, and then that would, that information would travel. Now it's all, hear ye, hear ye, come to the town hall meeting! Town crier style. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, everyone come over here, and let's all get this figured out. Now, Steve, what did you say? Yeah. Now, did you say that it's 752? Yeah. Or 745? Steve, in your statement that you gave <laughs> Vanessa, you said... Now, is that, or is that not the truth? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Know. Yeah, it's just, it's getting weird in there. It was weird. It was bizarre. So let's talk about else what was weird. Okay. Steve. Steve is getting <laughs> Steve's a weird dude. super weird now. <laughs> yeah, he's so weirder like, and weirder. In the beginning, he was like talking like R2-D2 and C-3PO like through... Hitting these, on like, cameras. You know, NBD. But like yeah. now it's like he like fully embraces his weirdness. He's just <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, no, that's the character I am. Like, here we go. Like, yeah. here's a montage of all the weird things <laughs> yeah. that happen. And like for the most part, I'm like, it's like kind of endearing. I'm yeah. like, yeah, dude, you, you know you're weird. You like your weird, and I like that you like that you're Listen, weird. Here's a tip for anybody out there: if you own whatever it is about you, people are not even going to think it's a weird thing. Done. So, but when you're nervous about it, or you don't, don't know how people are going to feel yeah. about it, that's when people um, start to think about it. Steve totally owns that he's weird. Yeah, did the montage of him dancing and singing to himself and yeah. flirting with cameras I mean, it's and brilliant. Getting to you know, like you know, second base with one of the cameras inside. But he owns it. Throwing he he thinks cup, it's weird. It's so just, you know, things happen. Yeah, he likes him. He's doing him. There and I think it'll actually i think that's gonna turn around to to treat him quite well yes yeah but it couldn't keep him on the block or off of the block Correct. because because yep. as we talked about becky won the midway mayhem and she nominated yep. steve and she nominated shelly she had a bunch of different conversations becky did with different groups telling oh, yeah. people who's going up who's going to be safe and ultimately her plan steve and shelly are pawns she's going right for vanessa that's her target here so we'll see what happens with the with the power of veto but it does mm-hmm. seem like Vanessa is right in Becky's process. All eyes. All eyes. There's going to be so much blood on so many hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanted to mention this as well. <laughs> I feel like every season, the phrase blood on my hands increases to a point where like, you yeah. know, Big Brother 18, they're just going to be sitting in a room saying, do you have blood on your hands? Do I have blood? Are we well, like, blood I, on I, our I hands? I do, but my, do you, my, I have more blood you have than, more blood you, than, than your blood. Your, your blood's now dried on your hands because okay. it was like several days old. Now... It's just a, it's a bloody mayhem. Are you going to get more blood? Because next week we're going to get How many blood. quarts of blood do you have on your hands? <laughs> they say it all the time now, know, you know? Vanessa's, I think, the leading... Blood, blood on my hand, hands Blood is hander. said all the time. So who knows? Maybe Becky is going to get Vanessa's blood on her oh, hands. No! Oh, no! <laughs> that, that's pretty good, man. That's true. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, well, you're, you know, you're now primed and fit to be yeah. on Big Brother. Yeah. So that's 19. Our, yeah, that's our quick recap there of the week. It is time for our best and worst moments here of this past week. Yes. Nick and I give you what we think the best and worst are. Starting with one of the best moves. Okay. And this best move goes to James targeting Clelly. Mm. Now, Clelly was was in, they were pretty much the figureheads, the poster children for the Sixth Sense Alliance, which was running the house. They had their hand in basically every single eviction. 
It was a smart move to try to get one of them out of the house, to get somebody from the Sixth Sense out. You might as well get two of the figureheads. And, God, they were just so adorable in the I know. House. They were like you know, Barbie and, and Ken. And I'm sure that that really annoyed the house guests, where they're yeah. like, I'm here all by myself in this house. <laughs> and look at those two hot people over there on that couch. I got all this blood on my hands. And... Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he'll have no furry, like the woman scorned. <laughs> Wait, hold on, please. Hold on. So, I'm, you're, talk, you're referring to James, Yeah, right? so yeah, okay. yeah. Please, like, what is up with this? some of the things that comes out of James's I house? don't know. He said, he'll have no furry Hell? like a woman scorn. Yeah, no, which I don't he even was, know that. He was talking about trying to get out of Shelly. Right. And he also said about, I think it was Becky, mm -hmm. that she was, oh, you know, I'm sorry. It was Vanessa. Oh. He called her a chameleon in the grass. <laughs> so she's she's not a snake in the grass. She's not a chameleon. She's a chameleon <laughs> in the grass. grass. So he's fusing. Hey, so just, you know, oh, you got to love the, the Jamesism. So they're, they're, new, they're new. It's great. For that reason alone, I want to give him one of the best moves of this week. But Fair enough. I will definitely give him targeting Shelly and ultimately evicting Clay as yeah. one of the best moves yeah. for him here this past week. I was going to add that. They're, they might not be actually controlling the game, but they're the figureheads of the mm -hmm. game. You know what I mean? Like they are like number one and number two, the ones who are like controlling. Yeah. You know, all the mechanisms for the other side of the house. Another best um, I have here is that uh, Becky targeting Vanessa. Now, this is like one of the best moves, and I've been talking about this for weeks. I said, if someone doesn't get Vanessa out, she's going to run the game, and she's been running the game. I mean, literally, she's been pulling the levers and, and tinkering, and she got three people out, four, actually, four, right, right. in a row. And it all been because of Vanessa. Yeah. She's playing the game brilliantly, so Becky being like, Hey, I've been noticing something, interestingly enough. And it's kind of great because Becky's in a position where she doesn't actually have a lot of blood on her hands. I had to use it. I had to say it. I Man, we're saying it almost as much as they do. Yeah, it's just terrible But it's a show about them, so I guess it works. We're allowed to do that. Yeah. But yeah, she's in a position where she doesn't really have a lot of enemies. She doesn't really have a lot of alliances either. So it's kind of like, she's almost like figuratively and literally playing the game for the first time, actually, kind of like right now. And so... Brilliant move. Yeah, it was a good move. Another best move here this past week is Shelly staying in the house mm -hmm. and leveraging some of her relationships to fight for herself to stay in the house. Now, she didn't really campaign against Clay, but no. she did talk to Vanessa. She did did yeah. make some effort to, you know, to be in the house. I don't know the conversations with Clay that they didn't show us as the viewer right. to see if they if 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 she was at least subtly saying, Hey, I'd like to stay here. She might have played Clay a little bit, not necessarily in a manipulative way, right. but in a way that keeps her in the house. But she certainly did talk to Vanessa and tell Vanessa she wanted to stay. And then, then Vanessa said she would campaign for her to stay. So if we, I were, was, if we were like at a zero, right, uh, campaigning-wise, right? So like I would say Shelly was like mm, like a mile forward, maybe not even yeah. a mile, like a couple feet, all right? But Clay was actually going the other direction. He was campaigning to get himself out. Yes. So and, like... Yeah, I mean, yeah. he totally different directions. We did talk about that earlier, and I I would be curious. Maybe we could talk about it at some point if chivalry exists on Big Brother, if it should exist on Big Brother. But I think that's the card he was trying to play yeah. of the chivalry fall on my sword for my woman kind of thing. It's a great way to go out, you know? And if you know it's coming, you already know it's happening. Yeah. There's really not, like, you know, you can make it messy or you can make it clean. And obviously, because look at Clay's hair, things yeah. are going to be clean, you know? <laughs> yeah. So clean-cut guy, yep. you know, I left the house in clean-cut kind of way. Yep. I think that makes sense. Mm. And so, speaking of things that are clean, some things are messy, mm -hmm. okay? And um, one of them would be Meg. Ooh. So, Meg's decision to, you know, drink a little more led to yeah. what I would say would be one of the worst moves oh, of the It week. was cringeworthy. <laughs> I mean, us as the viewer, they haven't really showed us anything with Clay or Meg the entire season. Mm -hmm. Anytime Clay has been close with somebody, it's always been Shelly, and all of a sudden... She's getting drunk, and there's just... It was Feelings. like a stand-up massage, and I mean, just hands going everywhere. It was all over. That she, were, she was saying to her, like, you know, from the beginning, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's as if, you like, know my feelings for you? Right. It's as if, I think this would happen, you know, because you don't... A lot of the stories don't get cut, right? And so maybe she really, really, really does like Clay, and it never made it to story. And so us as a viewer are like, yeah. what are you talking about? But truthfully, maybe in the house... Like, maybe she really was all about Clay and has been for a while, and we just never saw it. So here's my question to you, Nick. How available is booze on that show? Because cause, right. cause this is the, really the first time that I can remember that you saw a house guest that was openly drunk on, yeah. the, on the show, which you don't see a lot. I would think if there was booze available, the show would just be about drunk people. In, in, in London, like in the English version, a lot of the other versions it is. They like really throw a lot of alcohol in there. In the, the American version, uh, the U.S. version, 
they give like they used to do one per person every one to two days. Okay. And so then what would people do is like they wouldn't use them as like you know sometimes they would use them as it's leveraging like prison. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like, like cigarettes, cigarettes in prison. prison. Yeah. yeah. But they wouldn't do it for, like, gameplay, but they would do it as kind of, like, just a kind gesture. So okay. they'd be like, hey, man, like, you know, you wash the dishes, like, you know, you're going to have beer tonight or whatever. And so, like, uh, you can stack them up, you know, and usually they're all different, like, ones. Like, so you get a Corona, and you'll get, like, a Dusekis, like, they're all different. And then, but yeah, I mean, you can definitely, by that point in the game, halfway through, you could easily So she, she was probably hoarding her alcohol for probably. a long, a long yeah. veto ceremony. Yeah. And then she got hammered, and she hit on clay, and then she concluded with... Telling Clay, I can't wait to get you drunk in New York. And for <laughs> yeah. our younger viewers out there, who knows Ooh. what's going to happen after that? Talking politics, I'm sure. Exactly. I'm yes. sure. But that, yes, I would agree. That was a, yeah. was a worst moment. That was cringeworthy. Definitely. And then, and then the last thing I'll say on it yeah. is his response was odd when Julie then mentioned oh, that yeah. uh, when they were sitting down. He basically said that, well, she's been flirting it all around the house, right. and she's been kind of offering it to every single house <laughs> guest to put it to put it nicely and well if you but, do remember again she, that wasn't something that, that the edit at least yeah. showed us as viewers. she did say that she would put out if that's right if that's James true. took her to outback and that's she's the clay yeah. so like you know i mean maybe it has been there and we just don't see it yeah i don't i don't know yeah. um, another worst uh the house evicting clay and not shelly mm. so when you think about it right there's yeah. no rules in Big Brother that says just because I asked you kindly. But Nick, I'd like to leave the house. To, Put me yeah, out. Exactly. No. Yeah, you can say no. You can say, hey man, absolutely. And then not do it. <laughs> yeah. It's called Big Brother because that would make sense. Because think about it, right? You get this guy who has this alliance with like his number one, Shelly. If you get Shelly out, now he's going to be super upset, right? Now he's yeah. going to hate the rest of the house. And then for the rest of the week, everyone else is going to target him because now he's declared that he hates the rest of the house. They're just going to vote him out next week. Yeah, I totally it's a agree pooper, with you. man. Yeah. No, I was surprised that as well, that they would just, you know, yeah. acquiesce to his demand. 110%. Did. I was very surprised. like, I will do it for you. <laughs> yes. Like, no, bro. Like, no. Yes. I have one more worse, Nick, sure. if, if I could jump in with you this can. one. And I'm a little disappointed in CBS here. Now, oh. at, at James's HOH victory, they were on the wall. It was mm -hmm. raining. And then they had bald eagles. Our national bird. Our national bird <laughs> that were flying in and slamming their heads and slamming their beaks into our house guests. They were being attacked by the bald eagle, the symbol of the United States of America. Can I get a – this is like a flag back here. I need the anthem playing. Bald eagle is a symbol of our country. And you are flying them at house guests, and they are pecking them in the stomach. But, you know, maybe it's 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 a, it's a sign. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah, a little worked up. I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry. It's a sign of how powerful the bald the bald eagle really <laughs> is. So. You know, it's a, it's a sign of like endurance, and that the nation will will be strong over time. I just or I would love to be not. there in that conversation. We're like, we need we need something else. Why don't we have birds fly a at them? Falcon? <laughs> no, 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 not a falcon. Not strong Pigeon? enough. Too small. A it doesn't turkey. have the same effect. A bald to eagle. A bald eagle. <laughs> so, <laughs> the symbol of our country on a spigot flying in a house gas. One of the worst moments. Show some more respect for those beautiful, majestic creatures. You are looking at both of your big brother financial advisors here to tell you which players to buy and which players to sell, who's doing well in the house and on their way up, and who is on their way down. Now, we're going to start out with our hot tip Ooh. of who to buy here this week. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. James. Ooh. Now, all right, all right. James, I feel like, and, you know, tell me if you agree, I feel like that nothing's been said, but I feel like James is now kind of the default or de facto leader of this dark moon yeah. side of the house, who yeah. has finally got rid of Clay, and now, you know, we have, we have Becky moving to that side. They're they're kind of taking the power of the house now. I feel like he's yeah. kind of at the, the whether forefront. he knows it or not. He is definitely the strongest one in there as far as decision making is concerned. Um, I mean, Becky's obviously proving you know herself right now. Uh, but yes, James is definitely on the rise within the Dark Moon Alliance, yeah. and he, he's not really. I feel like he's not really other than than possibly Vanessa on anyone's radar on the other yeah, side. Yeah, you know, I think not. I think now after the HOH, Becky. Might be more on the radar. I think Shelly, kind of for everybody, potentially. Yeah. So he's somebody that has kind of crept back in terms of that firing line and is mm -hmm. really kind of at power on the other side of the house and made a big power move getting Clay out. So I agree with that. he is the buy we buy. have. Buy as much James stock as he possibly yeah. can. Now, here's the sell. Sell, 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 <laughs> sell. I want you to sell all of the stock you possibly have Ooh. of 
Vanessa, mm. we told you, we I'm warned you, we yeah, told you. you. It, the market was crashing, we said sell, sell, sell. And now we can all see that the rest of the house is trying to sell their stock in Vanessa as well. And so give it another week or two, and I'm telling yeah. you, unless this is one of those like rebound stocks, and just by perchance, mm. and then there's like one guy left with it all, and then he's like the he, he's the richest BB stock owner there is. But if if this were you know you're putting this type of money on your college your your kids' college education, sell. People that listened to us weeks ago, we said sell before she was on radar. We're getting thank you letters. People are sending <laughs> us fruit baskets saying thank you so much, my big brother stock advisors. Thank you for yep. telling me to sell. Now the things are getting a little bit more serious, and then mm -hmm. it looks like she is potentially going home. Can, can we talk about this this conversation that she actually had with uh, okay. with with Becky? Okay, I mean oh, yeah, it yeah. was it was pretty rough because I didn't know the words that were going to come out of Becky's mouth. I didn't think that she was going to say, "And I'm not willing to deal with anybody." Yeah, yeah. it was like deal or no deal, Becky. Nope. No, no alliances, no words. I don't want to yeah. speak words anymore. Words is yeah. not something that I'm using anymore on the show. <laughs> Smoke signals and like yeah. mouth gestures. That's it. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to do this? Yeah, that was pretty rough. That, yeah. that was a clear indication to Vanessa. I was surprised Becky yeah. did that. Why not hear her out, hear what she has to say? I mean, information is power on that show. But she was so done with Vanessa that she's like, she, she did the move where she's like, shh. <laughs> no words. No, no words. No, That's no, how no, done no. she is. So, yes, no. I agree. But I'm telling you guys, your toast is sell firm. your Vanessa. Sell, stock. sell, Get rid sell. Of it. Yeah, the only redeeming grace could be now that they're at jury, there's a chance she could come back in the house. There's a double eviction but coming up. There's a double eviction, but it looks like it looks like your days could be numbered. So mm -hmm. you, you can't get as much money as you could a couple weeks ago from selling your Vanessa stock, but yeah. get rid of it for whatever anybody wants to pay. Anything. We had our buy was James, our sell is Vanessa. Those were your BB stock tips. We can't leave the house guests' fate in their own hands, Nick. Yeah. They don't do a good job with they the don't. speeches really to be able don't. to argue for the reasons why they should stay. So it is up to Nick and I to defend the house guests on the block in the segment that we call Well, you're up. Mm -hmm. All right, right, back in the courtroom. Uh, we're back in. Yes. Now, let's just say, first of all, Steve's a pawn. Yep. All right, Steve's not going home. So I think the two people that we need to defend is one Shelly and one Vanessa. So... Sounds good. Let's all right. All, let's get I'll all be professional. taking. Who would you like? My client today will be Vanessa. That means that I will take Shelly. <clears throat> <clears throat> would you like to let it go first? I will let you go first. All right. Uh, you're not my honor, but you're my my. You're not even my partner. You're <laughs> my. What are you? I don't know. I'm not the sure. The other guy in the courtroom that I don't want to win, guy. I am the other dude in the courtroom, <laughs> and I am defending Shelly. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Shelly just lost her man, all Ooh. right? And I, this is where I would hold an exhibit up. Exhibit A is Clay. Look how beautiful he is. He's so beautiful. That he is. All right? What if you lost this, all mm. right? You would be a wreck. I mean, you would be emotional. So emotional. You wouldn't be able to think. Can't think. Your Honor, can, you know, I, I don't know if this is he's kosher got, for the courtroom. He's got a good point, though. Okay, well, I'll take that then. Yeah, yeah she can't <laughs> think. She's emotional. Look how hot Clay is. This is what she just lost. Yes, She's not thinking about the game. She's not thinking about evicting you. She's not thinking about strategy. Her head is swimming. Are you going to pour salt in those wounds after Shelly just lost Your this Honor. Pretty, pretty hunk? Which is exactly why we'd want to keep my client, Vanessa, in the house. Now, here is someone who has proved their worth from day one. Now, at first glance, you might say, yes, this is someone who I would like to send home. But what if... You had this exact same person on your team. Now here is a time period where you could make such a deal with other players of the game who know the game so well they'd be accepting and willing to talk game. You know who I'm talking about. So I suggest that you keep Vanessa in the house because she is a lethal weapon who could be on your team. Shelly, however, is someone who is nice and great, but you know what? You know what she wants more than anything? to meet up with her boyfriend. I love this voice you're putting on, too, by yeah, the way. That's pretty good. I do like yeah, it. That's pretty good. Listen, okay, Vanessa. Yes, while she is a lethal force, she has proven that she cannot be trusted, and she is gunning for you. She has no loyalty. She has no allegiances. Shelly has stayed true to the Sixth Sense Alliance. Mm. All right? She's won some HOHs, but Vanessa is much more dangerous, much more much more manipulative. Mm. That's what I was trying to say. I guess, yeah. Meaning, 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 meaning. Yes. She is much more dangerous, which is, it's time to get her out. 
Shelly is lost. She is lost without Clay, which means she is not a threat to you. Keep Shelly in the house. Victor the next song. In my closing statement, as my other guy in the courtroom... Nice. fit the whole frame. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? pro. Yeah, that was really, I'm, I'm And I'm selling that. one Kevin Campbell. That, yeah. uh, <laughs> as my other dude in the courtroom has mentioned, Shelly is, in fact, lost. And so let's have her find her way all the way out to Julie so that you could keep a player in the house that could do your game justice. Thank you, Your Honor, and people of the court. It's moving. <clears throat> yes, thank you. We will see if we help these house guests, and we will see if Julie's glasses get bigger and bigger every week. <laughs> That's what they say. They're already... <laughs> like, it's like party glasses. They're already <laughs> very large. By two weeks from now, they're going to be this big. Those two things we will see here very soon. <clears throat> see if Nick and I did our jobs defending our clients in this lawyer up segment. So Nick, if I may, before we get out of here, I have, yeah, I have a couple sure. of random thoughts that, mm-hmm. I, that I wanted to point out. First of all, I was surprised. Becky said this when she was talking <laughs> about Vanessa. She said, I work Black Friday. I know how to deal with Vanessa. Obviously. <laughs> what is that? I, duh. I worked retail. <laughs> so, and then it gets a little bit murky for me about exactly what that, what does that mean? I, I made I a, worked Black Friday. a lot of corporate dollars in one day. Yeah. So I know how to evict somebody from the Big Brother house. If you cannot connect those dots, I don't think we're playing the same game. Yeah, okay, no. okay, Kevin. All right. I, I have another one here. I love the twin twist, Nick. The twin, twi- the twin twist is a lot of fun. Sure. Before the twins got right, in the house, right, all right? right? Now that they're in the house, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, is that Li- is Julia? No, Julia's in. No, Julia's yeah, talking like, to... Oh, no, wait, no. She's flirting with... Oh, man. You, you can't tell who's who. They need, like, little hello, my name is name tag. Yeah, like, <laughs> now that they're both in the house, I don't know which one is which, because they literally... They're twi- identical twins, right. Nick. Yeah. I-, I thought what would be good is, like, you know how in, like, football games, how they, ha- how they draw, the, like, the, oh, yeah. the line, you know? Like, yeah. You know, how many yards they need to get, like, yeah. you know, like... The uh, telestrator kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, exactly. All right, right. here we go. Yeah, go. Exactly. They need one of those, so they yeah. just need to show, like, J and, like, a, like <laughs> yeah. an L. We need the John Madden of Big Brother to come in with a <laughs> telestrator. Like, All right, here we go. Yeah, done. Perfect. Yeah, do something like that. Absolutely. I don't, know. I don't know. All right, so that was this week. And, Kev, where can we find you? At KevSoup on Twitter and KevSoup.com is the website. Check it out. Stop by. Send me a message. Talk Big Brother, whatever else. Awesome. Very excited to see what happens this Perfect. week. Perfect. You guys can find me on Twitter, at Nicky Haas, and check out... Our main channel, click right here. And if you love this video, share it, comment down below. We'll always talk back to you because we love talking Big Brother. And we will see you next week. Blood on my hands. (laughs) If you like this video, click here to subscribe. New videos every week.